Well, hey kids, okay. This is our very first Dear Grandpa episode, and it is being brought to you by No Good Name 42, I think was the fellow's name, and No Good Name 42 asked a question. He said, Grandpa, if you were 41 years old today, what advice would you give yourself? Wow, what a question, huh? In a nutshell, and, and he's talking about sailing. He's talking about, you know, he's 41 years old, and he also has the bug of wanting to buy a boat and go sailing, but he's got the house and the wife and the kids and all the encumbrances and all of the distractions and all of the demands on his time. And so what my advice is, I got to preface this a little bit by giving you some insight where I was at when I was 41. And man, has it been a long fall from grace from back then. When I was 41, I owned 280 acres in Ohio. I had a really nice large old farmhouse, big bank barn. Um, I owned a guided cave tour. I kind of built a resort. I had a guided cave tour. I had a riding stable. I had some vacation cabins that I built and were renting out. I was living really good. Thing, life was life was great. My advice, now you've had a little background as to what happened to me at that point. My advice is, if I was 41 and I still own that farm, um, my mother had decided right then about when I was 41, she decided she was going to move to New York to live with my sister. As soon as she did that, I should have immediately sold everything, loaded my wife and kids up into a sailboat and started sailing around the world. That's exactly what I should have been doing at 41. I should not have hesitated. I should not have delayed things. I should have packed them up and gone immediately. I should have bought whatever boat I could have afforded that could make the trip. And, you know, today's day and age, that boat could cost as little as 20 grand, 8 grand, 10 grand. Um, you know, the price of a car, you can buy a decent sailboat that can sail around the world. Yes, you're going to have to work on it. Yes, you're going to have to improve it and maintain it and what have you. All those things taken into consideration. But my advice to me at 41, go small, go now. The point is go. A hero ventures forth. Venture forth. Go. Don't wait. Now, why am I saying that? I'm saying that because... Of, of a number, a, a plethora of, of reasons, really. But here's kind of some of the main reasons for me. My children missed a great opportunity because I failed as the parent to provide that to them. The experience of a, for, for young kids to travel around the world and, you know, because young kids don't know about all the things that we're afraid of as adults, you know. They come into some new area and they see some kids their size playing and they run over and go play with them. That's what kids do. Frankly, that's what us humans should be doing. Us adults should be doing as well. We should be taking a lesson from young kids, you know, not letting our prejudices and biases and social norms interfere with that. We should act like six and seven and eight year olds. When you see another kid, you just go over and you start playing with them. So that's what my kids should have been exposed to. As a parent, I should have traveled with them, exposed them to other uh, uh, other societies, exposed them to other people, exposed them to other lands, let them learn about all the different types of people there are in the world, the socioeconomic effects of those people, what their values, what their lifestyles are. Um, that experience, um, you know, sort of the, sort of the weird stuff, like, uh, you know, if, if you're uh, on Norman Island in the British Virgin Islands, you know, you know that there's the Willie T there and the Pirate's Bite. Um, if you're walking through Syntagma Square in Athens, Greece, you know, you see the little vendor there selling the little kebabs full of, of uh, little, little, super delicious little pork kebabs that they have, you know, um, and you, you learn to enjoy them. Uh, if you're in Bahrain and you're you're at the Amir's beach and you go walk on the sand and you you know you know that that sand was all trucked in and and the Amir hangs out there and gives free diet Pepsis to everybody on the beach if you want a diet Pepsi um, having that kind of little sniglet information about all these people uh, is is amazing going to the going to Egypt and seeing the the pyramids and the temple of the sphinx uh, go to Luxor and see the Valley of the Kings and the tombs of Tutankhamun. Um, 
you know, just some of the things that I experienced as a young man traveling. My dad worked for Pan Am as a, as a, a vice president, so I flew all around the world and traveled a lot when I was a kid. Graduated high school, U.S. Navy DOD school in Bahrain. Um, being exposed to these foreign lands and these foreign people gives me a perspective that very few people have. When you spend your entire life living on a farm in Iowa and you never travel around the world or or in, you know, six square blocks in Brooklyn, New York, or, you know, whatever neighborhood you are, wherever you are, and you spend your entire life in that town, in that community, and, and that can be a beautiful thing, but you will never have the worldly experience and and perspective that I have because I haven't traveled and I've seen that firsthand myself. I'm not having it filtered through the press or the media. I've seen it myself. And so it gives me an innate ability to be able to call BS on things that are BS. It gives me an ability to be able to understand people of foreign lands, become more tolerant, become more understanding, become more cooperative, become more co-conspiratorial with them. You know, we shouldn't be fighting with, with ISIS. We should be partnering with them and trying to trying to help educate them and bring them up into, you know, what we see as standards. Um, we shouldn't be, you know, fighting with North Korea. We should be doing what we can to show them some love and educate them and expose them. Say, hey, guys, we're not trying to kill you. We just want to sell you hamburgers. <laughs> you know, that's what we're doing. Well, that kind of kills you too, but in a nice way, you know. Um... We, we need to be able to communicate with these foreign people in these foreign lands and and have understanding. Understanding is the key. Being able to put yourself in their shoes and see things from their lands, from their perspective, from their point of view, from their educational level. You know, some young kid in Somalia doesn't have the experience that, you know, some kid in, in, in the North Shore of Long Island would have. You know, you're talking about, I grew up in, in Port Washington, New York, Sands Point, actually. My neighbors literally were the Guggenheims and the Vanderbilts. I kid you not. High school I went to in New York, we had a swimming pool. Uh, our driver's ed cars were Volvos, okay? Um, we had a flight simulator in my high school so I could learn to fly an airplane as one of my classes in my high school. Very high-end high school, you know, right up there with some of the other real high-end ridiculous schools like Beverly Hills or what have you. Ridiculous. Uh, um, an embarrassment of riches, actually. Um, I, I've told this story before. Growing up, I, I, my family lived in Sands Point. We were what we call the poverty pocket of Sands Point. Uh, I drove a Volkswagen Beetle, a 10-year-old Volkswagen Beetle when I was a senior, well, my, my first senior year of high school. Um, <clears throat> my next-door neighbor, his father gave him a Ferrari Dino for a good report card. You know, when you're a young high school kid, it's hard to pick up chicks with a 10-year-old Volkswagen when the guy next to you from Argentina has got a, a Ferrari Dino, you know? Uh, one of the things you run into. But by traveling, by taking your kids now and going sailing now, they're going to be exposed to these foreign lands. They're going to see these people. They're going to visit the great antiquity sites of the world, if you're smart. You know, you're going to go see the Greek ruins and, and the Roman ruins, and you're going to go see the fantastic pieces of art, and you're going to take them to the Louvre and let them see the Mona Lisa in person. Not just think about it, but, you know, actually see it themselves. Uh, you know, go to the Sistine Chapel and see Michelangelo's work. Uh, see the, um, the Statue of David, you know. Um, you got to be tactile. You got to see these things. You got to hear these things. You got to feel these things in the first person. And that gives you a richness of your life that you're not going to get if you're staying home and playing in the band in, you know, Columbus, Ohio. Um, you're not going to get that kind of worldly experience by doing that, to have a, a, a normal childhood who you know who says what normal is your normal and my normal are two different things so we make values as adults in raising our family and we we look at our quality of life and our comfort zone and we you know we 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 color between the lines guys and we do that and and my advice to me at 41 is break out of that mold 
You know, a hero ventures forth. Venture forth. Go out there and fight the great battles. Push yourself. Expose yourself to other environments. For the sake of your family, for the sake of your kids, whether you have them now or kids to come, or grandchildren even, you know, grandparents, um, be able to expose them to these things and have these experiences. For your own education, to expose yourself to these things, to broaden your mind and open your eye to different things, to push yourself into learning new things and to experience new things. Um, you know, and, and I'm not even scratching the surface in the plethora, again, plethora of things that you could be doing that you're only going to achieve if you, if you go forth, you know, if you, you, you sell the house, you, you sell the car and you get rid of, you know, the, the bedroom set and you know, the golf clubs and, you know, put all that stuff behind you, step on a, you know, decent, safe little boat and go see the world. Travel, learn, experience, taste, feel. There's a whole great big huge world out there and you really need to experience it. And so my advice to me at 41, go. That simple. Anyhow, guys, this is the very first of, uh, of my uh, Dear Grandpa videos. I hope you enjoy it. We're going to have more of these as things come on. Actually, people have, I've got a list of them to do. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please do like and subscribe. Check out my Patreon page. Um, join the community. Uh, it's it's a lot of fun. Thanks, guys. We love you. We'll talk to you later. Bye.